Hello, it's GCSE Physics Explained. I'm going to tell you about magnets and magnetic fields. Learning objectives. At the end of this video, you should know what a permanent magnet is and how they behave. Know the difference between permanent magnets and induced magnets. Know some uses of permanent magnets and induced magnets. Permanent Magnets A permanent magnet has a north pole and a south pole and produces its own magnetic field. Hello, it's GCSE Physics Explained. I've got a bar magnet here. A bar magnet has a north pole at one end and a south pole at the other. A magnetic field is a region around a magnet where a force acts on another magnetic material. This diagram shows the magnetic field around a bar magnet. The strength of a magnetic field is shown by the concentration of the field lines. The poles of a bar magnet are the places where the magnetic forces are the strongest. We can see this on the diagram of the magnet because the field lines are most concentrated at the poles. As you move further away from the magnet, the strength of the magnetic field decreases. We can see this on the diagram, because the field lines are not as concentrated as you move further away from the magnet. The direction of a magnetic field is from the north seeking pole to the south seeking pole of the magnet. Here is a diagram of two magnets. These magnets have been arranged so that they produce a uniform magnetic field. Iron, steel, cobalt and nickel are all magnetic materials. Iron Steel Cobalt Nickel The force between a magnet and a magnetic material is always an attractive force. Some uses of permanent magnets are Motors Hair dryers washing machines and loudspeakers. When two magnets are brought close together, they exert a non-contact force on each other. Two unlike poles attract each other. Opposite poles attract. Opposites attract. So I now have a south pole and a north pole. Here's an example of opposites attracting. In the bottom of this nest is a north pole, and in the top of Snoopy's head is a south pole. North and south, they are opposite poles, and they like to attract. Oh, look at the magic. So you can see Snoopy's head's not touching the nest at all. Oops! <laughs> there he is, dancing his merry dance. Two like poles repel each other. Like poles repel. There's two north poles together. So they repel. I turn them both around, so there's two south poles together. They also repel, 
So we say like poles repel. This is pretty nifty. These are magnets. Do this one the opposite way. You can see the North Pole on the bottom doesn't like to be next to the North Pole here. So they're repelling. And they're floating. And I'll just keep repeating that. Making sure that the like poles are always next to each other. And that makes them repel. That's magnetic levitation. Maglev. And that further proves that like poles repel. Induced magnets. An induced magnet is a material such as iron, steel, cobalt or nickel that becomes a magnet when it is placed into a magnetic field. Here are some paper clips. And they're just made of iron. And although iron is magnetic, these are not magnetised at the moment. However, you can induce magnetism. If you take a magnetic material, Put it next to a magnet, so there's the North Pole, pop that on the bottom there, that North Pole makes the top end of the paper clip become a South Pole, which makes the bottom end of the paper clip become a North Pole. Induced magnetism always attracts things. So I'll put that on there, now you can see. Induced magnetism has been created. Not much. Induced magnetism always causes a force of attraction. When removed from the magnetic field, an induced magnet loses most or all of its magnetism quickly. Now, when you disconnect the magnet, all or nearly all of the magnetism will disappear. So that bottom paper clip should drop off. See what happens. So it's still retaining a little bit of magnetism, but not for long. Will it pick it back up? Oh, a little bit. losing its magnetism and that's induced magnetism some uses of induced magnets are loudspeakers and doorbells learning objectives so now you should know what a permanent magnet is and how they behave, know the difference between permanent magnets and induced magnets, know some uses of permanent magnets and induced magnets. Thanks very much, hope you learned a lot from that, see you in the next one.